Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm and welcome to another beekeeping episode. We are going to get out here in the bee yard and do a little work. It's very warm today, so I'm wearing my ice filled vest, what I call my cool vest. In this episode, we're going to be checking the health and progress of this little nuke split that we made last time, looking at the horizontal hives to see how they're doing, and the two vertical hives that we have behind here. Always fun to look. Today, burning denim again. I also have this small piece of burlap. We're going to put that in there as well. I have an extra little treat for you guys today. First time ever here in the bee yard, I will be wearing a GoPro strapped to my chest to see if we can get a little bit better video when I'm doing those up close hands on kinds of things. Let's check this hive here, V1. I'm renaming them V1 and H, you know, for vertical and horizontal. V1, V2, H1, H2, and we also have the nuke, which will eventually hopefully be another H, but right now, I don't know, it may end up a V. Checking that inner cover. Gretchen Bee Ranch on their one of their videos and in, or Instagram recently showed where they actually found a queen on the inner cover, and this is why we check. I don't see her. So we're looking in here to see how much room they have. We're gonna check that brood nest. We may need to put on a, uh, a honey box or a honey super. We'll see. We'll see what kind of what kind of resources they have up here in this top box. This is one of the seven inch frames, so I could swap that out. I brought extra deeps. I could swap that out, but they do have resources in this one. I can see a little bit of nectar, so we're gonna leave we're gonna leave that one for now. Definitely putting nectar up in this one and pollen. You can see the pollen cake or the bee bread in there as well as nectar. All right, so they're looking pretty good as far as resources here. Let's see if they have any brood up here in this top box. Oh, there's another one of those seven inch frames and they're actually drawing out on the bottom. That's good. They're going to use that space. They have lots of nectar and pollen. There's another one. They actually have brood on this one. Okay, so larva capped brood they also have lots of capped brood lots of brood on this one and they're drawing out that bottom part quite nicely it was kind of stuck down there and I jarred them again lots of brood here along with other resources even making a little queen cup. I don't see the queen on this one. Yeah, they have a lot of brood up in this second box. They're, uh, oh wow. Yeah, that was, that's a negative part of having those seven inch frames. They don't always stop. So this one got connected 
Okay. We're going to have to clean that off. That's a bummer. So there you go. Don't use the seven inch frames just because the bees sometimes make it right. Stirred them up just a little bit there. Okay, they still have plenty of room. I won't be adding a box today. I am gonna get in there and clean that, that comb up. They connected that right onto the frame below. I think using the seven inch frames in the horizontal hives would be, would make more sense because it, it goes down to the floor instead of down to a frame below. We're just going to check that to make sure that we're not folding in our queen. That's a real bummer. Let's see how they're doing down here in the bottom. Most of their, their brood was up in the top box. I've been working on some wax to get these frames waxed because it is true that sometimes they don't want to draw them out very quickly when it's just plastic. So I've been working on getting some wax prepared for that. A lot of brood on this frame as well. A lot of pollen on their legs. That's nice to see. A lot of orange pollen. There's another empty frame. I'm going to take this empty frame out. And I'm going to replace the empty frames up top with those medium, those seven inch frames that were like this one. I'm going to put this guy down here. Put this one up here. Same thing here. This is a seven inch. This is that broken one. And we had an empty we had an empty one down here. Let's put this. That way we don't have seven inch mediums going down resting on top of these other frames. Face that one out so that we're going every other. Let's save this one here and move it over into the horizontal hive. And we'll put this one together with all deep frames on top. All that wax can go into my collection so I can wax these frames. All right, let's get this one back on top. We'll get some deep frames out of our hide butler here. I have some frames that just came out of the freezer earlier today. So they have some comb, but no pests. That's the goal anyway.
We'll put these, actually not now, because we're going to put these down in the high butler to protect them. We put our medium frames that we're going to transfer over into the horizontal hives. We put those down here in the high butler. We put some deep frames over here in the vertical hive. So now we'll stack it back up. So this hive should be in a better position. All right, H1, uh, not looking too bad. I didn't really like how that, that comb was growing in there, how they were building that. So rearranging some of those frames, getting the seven inch frames out. And I never should have put them in there in the first place, really, but trying to utilize the resources, I made that call, it was probably the wrong call. Now it's all deep frames in here. They have plenty of room uh, to give them several weeks of building and growing. Now let's get into the V2 and see if, uh, see what their condition is. Lots of comb. We'll be scraping that off. We don't want them to continue building that. Try to do that without. Like they are building a little bit of comb there. There's our queen bee right there by the tip of my hive tool. Can you see that? I'm going to put her back. And that one's completely empty. Alright, we'll give them another week or so to build on this one. And I'm not going to dig around a whole lot. I don't feel like I need to. And we can button it up. Very good. V1 and V2 I think are in pretty decent shape. Made a few mistakes on V1, but we're, we're going to learn from that and move on. And so, uh, let, before we get into the horizontal hives, let's check this nuke out over here. And just see if, if it lived. That would be the first thing. Did it live? And based on the number of bees I see coming and going, I think it did. You can see that entrance there. This is the hive box or nuke box that I put this entrance on. Trying to make a better nuke box for splits. And looks like there's plenty of bees there on the entrance. So let's get in and check it out. I'm going to put just a little bit of smoke in the front. Okay, their feeder is empty, so we're going to take that out. We're going to check this hive out to see if there's queen cups or new queens. They do have a lot of pollen in there, so the bees are working. I still see some capped brood. That possibly right there is a queen nest or a queen uh, queen cell right there. 
two of them okay so we're gonna we're gonna put an extra frame in here yeah they have plenty of resources plenty of bees two queen cells Okay, let's get a good uh, frame to put in there. Let's see what I have in here. I brought out two high butler boxes today. I, I wasn't sure how many frames I was going to need. But I do have several frames here that have, uh, they, they were put away wet. So when you extract honey, you put these frames, the frames are then called wet frames, and these were put in the freezer right away, and, and they've been out of the freezer long enough to thaw out. So I'm going to put this in here. It's got lots of honey on it and pollen. This should help. This should help this new hive here have just a few extra resources. Good. I think this one is good to go. I think they're doing fine. I may have opened it up a little early, disturbed them a little early. I'm putting that frame, that feeder there, it's got a few bees on it. They should walk up and find their way inside there. So that's three for three that look pretty good. Uh, I did, like I said, in this box I had uh, plenty of wet frames. Uh, with lots of comb and resources on it from the freezer that I had put in this hive butler box and Now we're gonna go see what the horizontal hives need I'm hoping that they need extra frames so I can take these that I brought out put them in here and give them lots of space This one's getting kind of long. We're about two-thirds of the way full Eventually, I'd like to have this completely full of frames. So we'll see where they are today. Well, I hope I'm getting some decent video with this GoPro. Let's start. Actually, let's start on this end. Let me get my smoke. We're going to put a little bit of smoke over here at the entrances. And we're going to pull this first one off. Just glancing for the queen. I think we'll pull we'll pull two off. If you guys can hear, sounds like somebody's building something in the background. They are working on my foundation for my barn. I'm so excited. So they have a little bit of new comb in there. Last week I said I was going to put a towel in for beetles and I never did. So let's do let's remember to do that one today. Yeah, they definitely have some beetles in here. You know, I was kind of hoping that the, just the horizontal hive would prevent beetles, but I don't know why I thought that might be possible. There's a beautiful frame, lots of nice comb on there. Lots of bees. The bees are behaving a lot better today. That one's got his head down in that extra space there. I wonder if he's cleaning it out or if he's got a, a beetle cornered or what. If he gets his head out of there, maybe we can see. Nope, no beetle. Trying to be a little bit gentle, gentler than some of my past attempts at managing these horizontal hives. That is a very heavy frame. That 
That's my phone. A little slide. Careful down here on the end. We're going to try to avoid pinching. And slide that right down here. Puts us in a position to see our next frame. Building comb. Lots of bees. Good brood nest right here. We're getting into it. This is uh, frame number four from the right. Oh yeah, lots of brood. One of those seven inch frames there. They are using it for brood. Looks like a lot of possibly drone brood on that one. Sometimes a bee wants to climb up in there right when you're moving it. But if you're patient, you should be able to close that up. More brood there on that frame. Again on this side. My, the, the, the amount of wax that I have on these frames is definitely not enough. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I'm working on fixing that. Lots and lots and lots of brood on that one. That's a good looking brood nest. Brood frame. Okay. Nice. And there are eggs in this one as well, so... Um, presence of eggs just means that the queen has been active within the last three days. About halfway through this one. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is beautiful. That's one of those seven inch frames that they... They drew out quite nicely on the bottom. Using that for drone brood, drone brood. They do have a queen cup on the bottom of this one, but it's empty. Again, lots of brood. This is just looking fantastic. The brood patterns in this horizontal hive look better than those other two. The vertical hives, that's for sure. To me it does. Not all the frames have beautiful, perfect brood, but those last few did. Okay, let's slide another one. Looks like there's plenty of nectar on that one. They might be preparing the middle of that for more brood. You can see how it's, they put nectar around the outside. I think I'm gonna put one of those uh, seven inch frames between these two here. Let me pull one of these others out. Let me take this off. Just to give myself a little room. Oh, that's heavy.
They're making honey on that one. This is one of those towels. I just open it up, fold it in half. And what happens is the bees will fluff this up, kind of pull it apart a little bit. And then beetles will get stuck up in there. That's how it has worked in the past. I haven't done it in a horizontal hive. Getting to the end here, they have an empty frame. I'm gonna slide that empty frame in here. I'm gonna put these two deeps back and maybe one more, we'll see. I'll slide this one in here. That's the divider board. And put this one back in. So we put a total of two new frames and this one they have plenty of room just for an experiment i'm going to put that second vent right next to that one they have this one completely propolis closed up so let's see if they close the other one up as well and then our skinny board because that's where the end of the hive is right there Now we can go on to the second horizontal hive. This is the one that started out with a split. I think they're kind of building a lot of wax on the top of that one. They have a lot of nectar, a lot of nectar. But again, sugar water. I did, I did add sugar water to this, so they're not necessarily bringing in nectar. They might just be transferring that sugar water over here to these frames, which is fine. I just won't be adding any more sugar water. They do have pollen and brood on this side. Beetles again. I see one beetle there. I'm going to slide over. Seven inch frame that they're building on. That works out fine. Looks like they have some queen cups those are old i think they have plenty of brood going on there with a little nectar around the outside or sugar water i don't think i need to add any more sugar they got their start and they have lots of brood lots and lots of brood that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right.
kind of forgetting my slide method there, aren't I? Let me go ahead and do that. These bees are not climbing around quite as much as the other hive was. Oops, I went too far. Let's get this one, check this one out and slide it over. Looks very good. I do see larva, haven't seen any eggs yet. Yeah, I do, there's eggs. Okay, nice. A lot of nectar packed away in that one. I think I'm going to take that feeder out. I'm going to expose a little more here. I don't think they need the feeder anymore. It's empty. So I'm going to get a couple of those wet frames and put in here. That's these wet frames here. shake these bees off. These bees are out foraging, so let me... That one's pretty much empty, so I'm gonna put this one down in here. In fact, I'm gonna take this other empty one out here and get another one with comb. Might as well give them a start, uh, the biggest head start possible. And that's it, that's all they need. Probably more than they need. Skinny board here, and then our last long board, big board. That is one, two, three, four, five hives inspected. There's a lot to learn, but overall I think it's going pretty well. It was pretty hot out there and my ice cubes all melted. It was time to be done. I don't know how long I spent out there, but when I inspect all the hives, which I normally do when I go out, it takes me an hour and a half or so and that's a long time to be in the heat. But we got through it and I'm glad to see that that nuke hive is uh, appears to be doing well and it will have a colony out of that we'll see in a few weeks to make sure those queens emerge and do what they're supposed to do and the vertical hives and hor horizontal hives they are doing well as well we're looking forward to the established colonies at uh, starting to put up reserves and making honey it hasn't been a very good year so far at least in my apiary for honey and we're about to run out in our kitchen so hopefully they do make some but you know my biggest concern is just keeping those bees happy and the colonies strong another thing i'd like to keep strong is this beekeeping community you guys are amazing so if you have 
a suggestion, a comment, or just a beekeeping story that you'd like to share, please put those in the comments below and build up this beekeeping community. You guys are fantastic. I believe everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because you count. Thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. And if you're curious about the secret to my homesteading and beekeeping energy, check out daddycurbs.com slash mybestlife. I think you'll be glad you did.